Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75, and welcome to a kind of a pre-TF Nation video review. This is Transformers Legends LG23 Galvatron. Um, I pre-ordered this quite a while ago actually, and I'm, I'm pretty damn glad I did. Because um, I was thinking about getting the Titans Return, um, like the UK, US release, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously that was the more darker purple, but this is the lighter, sort of like more cartoon accurate version. And to be honest, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did stick with this. Um, I mean, the dark purple one is actually all right, but um, I just, I do prefer this one. The actual figure itself. Now, I do have a few issues with it, as probably been said before on a few other um, videos. Um, it really does have a problem with the actual gimmick. And for me, um, it really does wind me up quite a lot. I didn't think it would as much, um, but we'll, we'll get to that when I get to it in a minute. Um, let me show off this little guy first. This is, of course, his Titan Master figure. I don't know if it's going to zoom in too well on him. Um, he might be just too little. There we go. Um, I, I'm not quite. I can't remember exactly what this guy's called now. Um, <laughs> I can't. Well, I can't read the Japanese, so I have no idea what he's called here, and I can't even remember what he's called for the U.S. release. Uh, that's pure professionalism. I thought it was Nucleon, but I think that's the guy that comes with Power Master Optimus Prime. So um, it could just be Megatron, but I don't think so. It could be anybody, for all I know. But anyway, he's, he's quite a good little guy. He does come with his little ball-jointed arms and everything, so it's quite good to see. He can give those a good motion, range of movement and everything, and he does have his little head on a ball joint, which is kind of cool. Um, as usual, we don't get no articulation in the legs. Um, a good homage back to the old headmasters back of the late eight is there. Um, and that's it, really. Um, they did put a few extra paint apps on him, I think. Like they've given his eyes that red look. I don't know whether the um, US release has that either. Um, and then we're going to transform him quickly because I'm going to get onto the figure in a minute. So why am I going to show that off? Anyway, but it's quite a good head sculpt. I do like that. And they've decided to leave. I don't know if it's going to pick it out too well there. I don't know. There you go. You can see just on his cheek there, there's a bit of red, <laughs> which is always handy. I might see if I can get that off. Um, oh, no, it's not. There's a bit of dust. There we go, that's alright. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought I didn't notice that earlier. Um, yeah, anyway, so it's quite a good head sculpt. I do like that, but that is going to come into play a bit later on. Let's actually get onto the figure itself. Um, actually, no, before we do that, let's get onto the box. I do like the box it came in. Um, this is obviously the Japanese box, and it's so much better than the US release one. Actually, is it? No, it's just different, actually. Um, it's got the usual sort of gimmicks of what he turns into. Um, nice and great artwork on the side there. I know it's at a funny angle, but trying to get it into camera short without moving my camera, because I've got this stand and it's started to get really loose. So every time I move it, it sort of like ends up falling over. So I try not to move it as much as if I can help it. Um, so there's the box, quite a good little box set. And look at the instructions. These are the instructions manual. Um, I wish we, we got something like this rather than the dodgy looking like a really dodgy photocopy that we get I mean this just looks good and it's got his like bio and his tech specs it's just a shame isn't it they can do it for the Japanese one but why not for the US one it always always mystifies me slightly there right so let's get on to the figure itself this is um, Titans Return I'm gonna call it that not rather than Legends this is the Titans Return Galvatron and now I used to have the I can't remember who made it now the Mania King um, and that was, a, for a third party, that was a very good Galvatron, but the only problem I had with that is that it was a bit too finicky to transform. It was a good transformation, it looked good, loved that laser in it, that would really blind someone. Um, and where that one succeeded and this one fails, they sort of like both succeed in areas and both fail in exactly the opposite areas. That one succeeded because it looked good, it had two modes rather than trying to do a dodgy third mode. Um, so it just went for two modes and it worked. It was just far too finicky in its transformation. This one, easy transformation, really not hard at all, um, fails because each mode is now really, really compromised because of a th dodgy, crappy third mode. I just wish they hadn't bothered. I just wish they had just made two modes, um, Space Cannon and the Robot mode. Um, and then you would not have this giant cockpit section just hanging precariously underneath the actual cannon there. Um, you could have maybe then done something to get rid of this back end of the particle beam cannon. 
um, so it just doesn't look like that. And then you'd have had a much more streamlined um, cannon mode. Um, but I suppose that's just me, I don't know. Um, yeah, see, I'm not even bothered going to change it into that stupid, um, what is it, like a, like a jet or something, or space fighter. I'm going to show it on the picture here, because it is just, we're going to say it's a spaceship because we say it is. I mean, what is that? That's, and, I, and I just think, wish they hadn't bothered, if I'm honest. I mean, yeah, but all right, someone in the Hasbro office is right, probably for, oh, let's do a decent Galvatron figure. And the guy comes up with a really good design. And then the guy just thinks, let's, how can we fuck this up? Let's, oh, I know what we'll do. We'll give it a dodgy third mode, so you've got to add these bits in, then find somewhere to put them. Or something like that. And then, to make matters worse, we're going to give it the worst headmaster mode of, of, of any of them so far. I mean, I'll get onto that in a minute. It really winds me up a little bit, actually, because this should be a fantastic. I mean, for me, this figure still gets a great, like, 8 out of 10, even with the dodgy bits. Um, so, obviously, anyway, this is his space cannon mode. And it actually looks pretty good, if, even with that. It still looks pretty good. I love the back end of it. I love that. I just think it's simplistic and does it really well. Um, yeah, I think it still does it really well. Um, just look good. I like the tank treads. It stands really well. You can position it if you want to move the arms. You know, so you're not going to have too much trouble. Megatron can, or whatever his name is, um, he can stand on these little bits here. Um, he does, can go in the cockpit if you want to change him into the jet fighter mode. Personally, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not even going to show the transformation to that because it really doesn't interest me. And I'm sure many other videos will have shown that off. Um, anyway, right, so I, I love the orange that they've used on the particle beam cannon. It is so bright. It is really, really good. It's bordering on like the neon that you used to get with the G2 sort of thing. That's how much it stands out, but it doesn't stand out in a horrid way. It stands out in a brilliant way. Uh, right, so anyway, let's transform this guy into robot mode. Now, this robot mode is a fantastic robot mode. There's there's no doubt in it. Right, let's see if I can remember how to transform it. So I'm going to transform it one, but I didn't really need the instructions. So I just sort of fumbled my way through it, and it worked. So we take that off the front, put that over to the side for a moment. Uh, and then we are going to um, raise these sections on the side here. They should fall out, and they should sort of click into place. Now, this is a small... Uh, area of contention for me because these arms are actually very very stiff in here so when you move them you're going to risk moving that joint there instead of the actual arm movement i mean this one's pretty good this one just feels a little bit looser so that's a bit of a bit of annoyance nothing major so anyway let me just unfold out the arms like so fold this tank tread back now i do have the titans returns sticker set that i bought um, so you can give it something on there, but I like the animation sort of like look of this one. So I don't know if I'll put those stickers on it because it gives it a more toy, like the old G1 toy sort of look um, to it. So I mean, I'm not going to actually explain this. You can sort of see what I'm doing on the camera because it's like I said, it's quite easy. You can see that I'm just rotating that and everything. Then you're just going to pull out, pull out these legs like that, and it's got a, a rotational joint inside there, a bit much like the. Um, combiner walls figures um, and you can see there's a little tab just in there and that is going to tuck in there just behind the kneecap um, and then you're just going to fold out these and then oh yeah rotate that bit around that closes up that hollowness in there which is surprising these days because I don't usually bother I mean look at that bit where the fist is so that's the thing isn't it that hollowness is just a bit annoying these days because um, you know if they had made this figure 10 years ago they would have had a I've said it before they would have had like a cover there you would have flipped that open folded the fist out and then flipped it back to not have that bad look still there we go now then we're going to fold that fist out um, this bit I like this that this rotates up against there and then this whole section just folds out and so it gives the, the, the back end a much more it's a bit of a kibble thing but not much um, now these feet do have um, ankle tilts which is pretty damn good so when he stands he just looks the bollocks uh, you're going to fold those down nice little shoulder pads I like that um, then you're going to take his particle beam cannon and then you're just going to lift this bit up into that clicks in All right turn around that way fold this down and then I'm not totally sure with this bit this purple bit here um, I think this was a leave it front forward for this I think it's flip it back for the weird jet mode it's up to you what you do though 
Um, and then he's got his port here and one on that side, so you can have it on that fist if you, uh, sorry, arm if you wanted to. And there we go. And then we stick that in there, and that's his particle beam cannon. Uh, right now, then the only thing left to do is take your headmaster figure and stick him on the top. Now he does go in there pretty well, and he's not loose like some of the others. And if you want my opinion, that looks pretty good on top there already. Um, I don't know whether the American Titan Return version has all the purple on the head, but I'm so glad this one does because even though it doesn't look perfect, it looks okay just like that because then what well, obviously someone thought in the Hasbro offices or the Takara offices, whoever designed this figure, as that is good. L let's see if we can fuck it up again by doing this. We open up this, and sorry for swearing, I know I don't usually swear anymore. I know I used to years ago, but I tend not to now. So yeah, so they thought, well, let's see if we can make this figure up. And they come up with this, a pointless gimmick of putting a face mask over him. Um to give him that Galvatron look, which is pretty cool. I mean, it works from far away. I mean, you look at that, right? So you put it over here, you put Galvatron in a decent pose, like he's about to kick someone's ass or whatever. And you can't tell. You know, that is pretty good. Unfortunately, you get up close to this fella and it's all right straight on. But the minute you go like this, and especially then if you want to turn his head, I mean, it looks like that because the face mask don't, doesn't turn. It's so annoying because this figure should have been a solid 9 out of 10, you know, because no figure really is perfect as it was. I suppose some are. But it's just, it's just so damn annoying because um, it should be a brilliant, brilliant figure. And it is, but just those one or two little things let it down. Um, but it's still got fantastic articulation. I love all the art. My legs feel a slight bit loose um, and they've been riveted in on this joint. I prefer the ball joint, at least they're not going to tighten them up. Um, but still, I mean, look at that. You're going to get a great range of articulation out of this guy. Just a shame you can't turn the head. Um, you're going to get like these, 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 the, like these bits. So you're going to turn this bit. It's a bit annoying. Some bits do every time you want to rotate something up. Bits are going to get in the way, unfortunately. Um, I think. Yeah, it's, it's slightly some. This one is a bit annoying. Because you can do that. Would that go under there? I don't know. Kind of, yeah. It does sort of work. It's really just it's just a bit annoying. Like that shoulder pad, really. Um, but it's still a great figure. It's still a great figure. I don't care what I'm saying. I know I'm annoyed with it, but I really like it. Because um, I love Galvatron. And this is going to look so good next to my... Um, classics Optimus Prime because they're about the same size um, and they can have a good old fashioned beat them up um, so it's just, it's just a great figure um, head is a bit dodgy on the third mode but I can live with them really maybe, like that. maybe some third party will fix that maybe perfect effect because I like doing stuff like that just do something with the head I don't know what but because you know you can like I say you can hide it I just wish I hadn't bothered I really do wish they hadn't bothered because that, do something, put some things, I know you could disconnect it or something, stick it on his face, maybe that might work. It's just annoying. But it's a good figure. I really, really like it. This is sort of like one of the figures that I would love to have got when I go to TF Nation because it's only a week away because I'm doing this on Friday night. Um, so TF Nation is only a week away and I'm getting very excited actually. I'm trying my best to get some money because you can't go to one of these things without any money and not buy stuff well I can't anyway because I love spending money on Transformers I spend so much money on Transformers if I didn't spend as much money on Transformers I'd probably have lots of things that I haven't got um, fast car everything like that you know what I mean Just, but I spend silly amounts of money on Transformers so there we go but there you go well yeah Anyway, Chef Nation one week away. Hope to see you all there. Um, been trying to watch as many TF Nation videos on YouTube as I can. There ain't too many actually. There's been a few and you usually get like one added like every couple of days, but I think everyone should just start making more videos. 
Uh, right, anyway, so this has been Graham, the Collect 75. Um, I shall see you all next time. I am going to try and do another video before TF Nation as my second part to my pre-TF Nation reviews. I'm going to do this guy, which I did get as well with this guy. This is the Unite Warriors... Oh, bloody hell, just knocked him over. Uh, Unite Warriors Grand Galvatron, or Haunt Leader Grand Galvatron, whatever the hell that means. Um, this does look good. I'm glad I pre-ordered that. Right, so... Um, yeah, this has been Grand the Collect 75. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.